Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna to be doing a video on how to convert mixed numbers back into improper fractions. This is a great skill to have if you need to add or subtract fractions, even multiplying fractions. So this is uh, a key skill and we're gonna get started with that right now. Okay, so the very first thing that we need to talk about is really what is the what are these mixed numbers? So what I have up here this is what we would call a mixed number. And the way that we would say this is that we have two and three quarters. So what that's telling us is that we have two whole items and then not quite a whole item uh, on top of that. So it's really important that we recognize that in the fraction, it actually is telling us what we're going to think of each whole piece as being cut into. So if I imagine that I had a rectangle, this rectangle has to be cut into four equal parts. So if I do that, I can split it in half, and then I can split my halves in halves again, and I have one, two, three, three, four pieces. So every whole item is going to be cut into four pieces. So we're going to try to take this impro or this mixed number and we're going to turn it into a fraction, just one fraction that has uh, the whole split into four pieces. So what I need to remember is if every whole piece is split into four, then if I have two things, then I've got two whole items with four pieces in each. So I actually get eight items out of this whole. So I need to think about this as being eight pieces. But don't forget that I also had three pieces of another whole. So again, if I was gonna draw that out, I would have one whole piece, two whole pieces, and then, so this guy is full, this guy is full, and then this guy is only going to be three quarters. And again, this is just a quick sketch. So all together, I still need to add in these three pieces right here. So I've got eight pieces plus three pieces. So all together I have 11. So my improper fraction would be 11. You may start seeing this, so if I just made another one and I had three and four fifths, you may see uh, the idea of, I go three times five is 15, plus four, I would get 19 fifths. So when you get good at visualizing these, you can just move to doing the multiplication. So again, that's three times five equals 15 plus the four, equals 19 and that's where that number came from up on the top on my numerator. I hope that helps and the next video that we'll be talking about will be adding and subtracting using these improper fractions.